Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off today's look by priming my eyelids with my Urban Decay Original Potion Primer. And I am putting a piece of tape so that there's a nice crisp line for the makeup look that we're going to do. And today I'm using my Studio Makeup on the Go palette. And I'm starting off with this um, matte white shade just to set my eyelid to make it nice and smooth for the further colors. And I'm going in with this um, taupey kind of brown color to use as my transition shade. And I'm putting this right into my crease and bringing it up a little bit as well as blending it out into the tape to give it um, a kind of winged effect. And now I'm going in with this deeper brown shade and just putting that right over top of the other shade that we have but keeping it a little bit lower and focusing this um, again right into my crease and mostly on the outer V of my eye but also bringing it in when there is less product on the brush and bringing it down to make kind of a sideways V shape. And now I'm going in with this deep brown on a pencil brush and I'm just deepening up that V on the outer corner of my eye as well as giving it kind of a cut crease effect by bringing it into my crease and blending it downwards to give, again, like a cat eye effect with sort of a cut crease as well. And now I'm going back in with this white shade and I'm using this as my lid shade to make my lid really pop against the other colors. So I'm just using this on a flat um, lid brush and putting this all over my lid. And again, kind of keeping the cut crease effect, I'm just keeping this right below all the other colors. And then I'm going in with a clean brush from Lexi and I'm just blending out the outer corner because the white covered it up a little bit. And now I'm taking some black matte eyeshadow from this palette and I'm putting this on a liner brush and I'm actually creating a winged liner with the um, eyeshadow as opposed to using a liner. And this gives it more of a messy kind of smudgy smoky look as opposed to a crisp line that you get by using liner. And now I'm going in with a pencil kind of smudger brush and I'm just smudging out that black line. And now I'm taking the tape off and putting on a coat of mascara. I am going to be using falsies today. These are the Ardell 105 lashes and I love these. They're very wispy and long and flirty and they're perfect. And now I'm just lining my, or filling in my eyebrows. I'm using an eye pencil from I believe Chella. And um, this pencil is a little dark for me. I usually use my Anastasia one, but I wanted to use this one today. And I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it, but whatever. It did the trick. So I'm just filling in my brows. And now I'm using my Kat Von D face primer that I have. And putting this um, on my problem areas like my cheeks, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. That's what gets most oily and where I have the most pores. And now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And I mix the shades I think like medium 53 and light something <laughs> um, because I do self tan and it sets into my body and then my face looks crazy white if I don't like mix my foundation so I'm doing that and now I'm using my Makeup Forever HD concealer this is in the shade Y23 I absolutely love this concealer it's perfect it's bright um, and it covers up any dark circles or blemishes that I have so I'm just using my beauty blender to blend this out and yeah that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and now I'm going into my e.l.f. translucent powder. And I love this powder, but I'm actually running out. So I guess I'm going to have to get some new powder. Um, and I'm going in with this blush and bronzer mini palette from Coastal Scents. And using the lighter bronzing shade to kind of scratch out where I'm going to be doing my contour, so my cheekbones and my forehead. And I'm doing that on this big brush from Sephora. And then I'm going in with a smaller contouring brush from Lexi and picking up the deeper brown and really carving out where I want that contour to be. So focusing it mainly on my cheekbones, but also putting in a little more onto my forehead to give it more dimension and make it look a little more shapely than it is. And I'm also shaping my nose by just putting a little bronzer on the sides of that and blending it out. And I'm going in with the light pink blush from this palette and just putting that on my cheekbones. This, br this blush is really intense, so I usually put it on and then I'll blend it out with my Kabuki brush. 
And I'm going back into the um, Studio Makeup on the Go palette and using the highlighting shade in the top left. And I'm just putting this as my highlight on my cheekbones, my nose, the tip of my nose, as well as my inner corner of my eye. Because I want a really fresh and dewy face and eye for this whole look. So yeah. And now I'm just putting a coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. I use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, by the way. And now I'm going in with this NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Havana or Havana <laughs> or whatever. And it's this like gorgeous, rich purple. And I thought it was so fun and I really wanted to use it. So that's why I picked for this look. And that is everything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for next week's video. And I'll see you all then. Bye.